Hey guys, Will here with Crazy Studio, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to use the text-to-speech feature inside of Crazy Studio 3.0. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at how this works. So I've already got a scene built out with a custom 3D character, and now I wanna add some speech to really bring this character to life. So what I wanna do is, on the left-hand side over here, I've got my music section, and up in the top here, I've got a speech category, and I click on that, and it brings up the speech box for text-to-speech, right? Now you have two options. You can use AI or you can use text-to-speech with Google. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into Google's text-to-speech features first. All right, so when you click on Google, you have access to type in any of the dialogue text that you'd like, and then you have an option of a lot of different languages that Google supports, and they are uh, listed in this drop-down list below. So you also have 10 female voices to choose from as well as 10 male. So for example, if I was to paste in some text there, I could say English, female one, and then I could say, uh, I could adjust the speed if I wanted to, or the pitch of my voice, and then hit generate speech, and then it would generate for me. And then I could preview that speech right there, um, and then import that into my project, right? So super cool, and again, Google is unlimited uh, use for all users. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the text-to-speech AI, all right? So now I'm inside of those properties, and one thing to note is if you're an all access user, you get 3000 credits every month on the first of the month, right? You get a regenerated 3000, right? Um, credits do not accumulate. So every first of the month they regenerate or if you run out in the middle of the month, you can always um, purchase more down here at the bottom using this link. If you're not an all access user, you can still tap into the Texas speech with AI by just purchasing some credits here, right? So click the link and then get the credits you need to generate the awesome AI features with this text to speech, right? All right, so let's go ahead and paste in some text here. And the thing with the AI text to speech is you have different voices that you can sample, right? So let's go ahead and click on the, the voices here and then you can choose from male or female, right? And you can sample through. The biggest room in the world is room for improvement. Right, decide, you can see on the descriptors here, whether they're young American, um, the style, the dialect, and you can scroll down and see all the different styles and different um, genres of voices that you have access to, right? And the cool thing is too, is, is if you're browsing through these, the heart has eyes, which the brain knows not. Kindness is more important than, right? You can then heart some of these guys. And then when you go to your favorites, you can just quickly, if you have some go-tos that you're used to, you can put them in your favorites and then quickly access them on the fly, right? So you, you can spend less time searching and just get to creating, right? Which is the whole point. All right, so let's go ahead and I've got a couple of voices I've already hearted and like, and I'm just gonna- Life isn't about finding yourself. Don't be afraid to go out on a limb. That's where the fruit is. All right, let's try Noah, right? So I'm going to go ahead and select Noah, right? So I've got Noah in there. All right, so I do want to point out that we support multiple languages. So if I hover over the languages icon here, you'll see that if you input in, say, for example, German or Japanese, it will auto-detect what language you're inputting in your text, and then it will create and generate that uh, voiceover for you in the language that you put in. So right now, out of this list, these are the languages we currently support for our AI text-to-speech feature, which is really cool and super powerful inside Create Studio 3.0. All right, so the next thing I do wanna point out is down below, um, you know, you can add pauses when you're speaking, right? So maybe, you know, I have text-to-speech is a great way to engage your audience, and I want there to be a pause right there when I generate this, right? So what I can do is I can type in a bracket and then type in pause, and then I can say equals, and then however many seconds, right? Um, so maybe I want, one second, right? So I'll type uh, one and then close my bracket. All right, so that would be one second. You can go all the way up to three seconds um, and you can also do like one and a half seconds. So if maybe you wanted a one and a half, you can do 1.5, right? Or you can do 2.5, right? So it just depends on what you're looking for, but those options to create pauses are there for you. So it's really cool and really powerful uh, feature that you can do to, to even customize it and tailor it even more for your speech, right? And I do have the option to choose the stability of my voice. I can adjust the percentage there and then the clarity, right? So if I generate this speech, um, it's gonna automatically deduct my character points, right? So right now I've got 3000. If I hit generate speech, it's gonna use my AI credits um, and then deduct. So make sure, um, you know, as a recommendation that you choose the voice that you're looking for first, you get your um, your text right. Maybe you're copy and pasting from like a notepad or a, or, a, or a Word document or a Google Doc that you got your script in and you're kind of pasting it out. One thing to note too is that inside of the text box itself, whether you're with Google or AI, a, a thousand character count is the, the limit at a time and that includes spaces. So if you need more than that, then you'll have to break up your audio into multiples, right? 
But um, if you're just doing simple one-liners, um, even medium style text, you, you, you should have no problem. All right, so let's go ahead and hit generate speech. All right, so it takes a few seconds to generate that. And then when I got it, I've got preview. Text to speech is a great way to engage your audience and take your videos to the next level. Right, so it used that Noah voice, which I think is really cool. And then I can import that into my uh, library there. Again, it goes to my media and then into my projects. And I can drag this into my timeline. And then let's see how that guy lines up. Text to speech is a great way to engage your audience and take your videos to the next level. All right, well, we right click on our text to speech, sync with Tom, and then now I can Text then... to speech is a great way to engage your audience and take your videos to the next level. All right, so that is an awesome way to tap into the text to speech features inside of Create Studio 3.0. All right, hopefully you got some really cool quick tips out of here. Can't wait to see what y'all create. I'll catch y'all in the next tutorial. Mm -hmm.